Scene one, take 10. And action. Good day, fellow occupants of Garden Grove. My name is Norman and I'm a gnome and I'm here to talk about your garden and home. Do you have a beautiful garden or home? Hmm. Well, that's not good. That's great. And you should save the date for the inaugural Garden Grove Gems where virtually all of Garden Grove will see your lovely gems because the event is virtual. You see how I tied that in? Virtual, virtually. <laughs> it's like a little present I wrapped up to give you. You're welcome. Let's see all that hard work and that yard work. Upload your photos so all Garden Grove can vote and nominate yours to be Garden Grove's gem in this year's- Cut! Well, it's nominate. From the top, let's do it again. Um, what, what did I say? You said nominate. <laughs> nominate? <laughs> I did say that, didn't I? <sighs> yeah, I'm... okay, okay, Norman. Time is money, so let's reset. I'm not normally so punny. <laughs> did you witness my joke? I said normally, and my name is Norm. Get your yards ready now to prepare for Garden Grove Gems, the virtual home beautification competition. From April 11th through the 29th, you will be able to snap a photo and self-nominate your beautiful home. Then from May 9th through the 13th, the community will vote online for one gem of a home per district. Visit ggcity.org gems for all the details. I'll see you in the garden. Three, two, one. The ribbon is cut and customers are walking in. The former Vaughn's pavilions remained vacant for years. But now it's given new life with a brand new local Sprouts Farmer's Market at Pavilion Plaza West. We're getting a lot. We're so glad you opened. Thank you for coming here. We needed this. And now I don't have to drive to Seal Beach or I don't have to drive to Fullerton. There's a lot of people who are really glad to have Sprouts local. And that enthusiasm extends to the 120 employees, many of whom are Garden Grove residents. I'm a mile from home, so my commute is five minutes instead of... 25 or 30 where it was before, so it's been great and uh, the community has just really been excited to have the sprouts in the area. I love working close to home. This is kind of my dream job, finally. Former Magnolia School District teacher Lindy Monhey also enjoys learning from her co-workers at the brand new 23,000 square foot store on Chapman near Brookhurst. I, teacher, I love being educated and everyone in the store is an educator. One thing that sets Sprouts apart from most other stores is this huge vitamin and supplement department where I was able to learn a thing or two about healthy living. I'm just passionate in general about health and wellness and I just want everyone to feel better and be their best. It's always been kind of my goal for myself. I want to pass on the knowledge to everyone else. I've always just wanted to help people. And as a customer, you can take a walk down each aisle to find everything from fresh produce, meat, a sushi bar, and of course, employees that are happy to see you. Did you find everything okay? Yeah. Awesome. Just to see every day all the guests that come in here and give us the awesome feedback of how we're making their day how they love the store, it's beautiful. It makes me feel really good inside. It feels like I have a purpose. Reporting for GGTV3, I'm Brianna Greenup. Rush hour traffic is bumper to bumper with no relief in sight. Motorists are encouraged to find alternate routes. Whoa. Everyone qualifies, no car needed. Not all participants will hear these sounds. Interesting sights and smells, also likely possible side effects. Uncontrollable smiling, increased heart rate and laughter. Your mileage may vary, no credit needed or checked. No animals were harmed in the making of this announcement. This video for entertainment purposes only. 
Reimagine Garden Grove's Open Street Saturday, April 2nd, 2 to 6 p.m. Don't miss it. Enjoy responsibly. Hi, I'm Brianna Greenup, and this is your Garden Grove TV3 News Report. One of Garden Grove's iconic events has sadly been postponed for the years 2020 and 2021. The Garden Grove Strawberry Festival and Parade were not held because of health and safety precautions. But COVID could not stop the Strawberry Festival Association and its members from reaching out to the community and bringing joy to some very deserving young people. And stay tuned after the story for an exciting look at festivals past to get you fired up for an in-person Strawberry Festival 2022. It's not every day that a five-foot strawberry visits your classroom. On this May Day, a group of Garden Grove Strawberry Festival Association directors, other volunteers, and a very big strawberry bring joy to students at the Thomas Paine School. Hi, nice to meet you, strawberry. In a normal year, the annual strawberry festival would be gearing up around this time, and these kids would be special guests. What you're seeing right here is our COVID version of Special Children's Day. According to Dr. Miller, for the last 30 years, the association has opened the Strawberry Festival early to provide a special, uncrowded time for local children facing extra challenges free of charge. They weren't able to do any of that in 2020 or 2021. So this year, what we're doing is we've got a stuffed animal, a juice box, a bag of popcorn. We had some stickers printed up and a little note that says that we miss them. And they deliver the treat bags right to the students in their classrooms, 1,500 of them. The process starts the day before at the Garden Grove Boys and Girls Club as the fuzzy, cuddly stuffed bears are packed in plastic along with snacks and the note. Directors, family, and volunteers work together in an assembly line. Hi guys, we're all from Bolsa Grande High School and today we are volunteering for Strawberry Festival. The Festival Association has to be even more creative than usual to bring joy with COVID still lingering. So if the kids couldn't come to us, we're going to the schools. Thank you! The Garden Grove Strawberry Festival Association has donated over $7 million to local groups over the years. We are all volunteers. We are a nonprofit organization. And we put on the Strawberry Festival to raise enough money to give back to the other nonprofits in our community. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy your cake. Young Matthew Din's favorite part of the Strawberry Festival is the funnel cake. He gives the strawberry a hug. What about his new bear? I'm thinking about the teddy bear. It's nice. And I'm thinking for that that maybe I'll sleep with it tonight. Perfect. We hope that we're back bigger and better. Um, we're planning to be back bigger and better. Overall, we're just going to make a difference. Festival is officially starting. What's your favorite thing at the Strawberry Festival? Anything. <laughs> money for the community and that's what it's all about is raising money for the community and the kids. It's all nonprofit, it's all volunteer and it gives back in a big way to the community. I like it because the Shrubbery Festival should be shared with all people. It makes you feel like you're doing something, that you're really truly helping somebody and that you're helping that nonprofit do its work and your heart is full. It's so fulfilling. It's really wonderful to be able to do something that you otherwise would not be able to do yourself, to give these kinds of funds to any of these organizations. The Strawberry Festival has made a huge difference in our organization. And without the Strawberry Festival helping us, this program wouldn't exist. 
We have got front row seats for this parade. Absolutely, the best seats in the house here of a tradition like no other, dating back to 1958. You were a former Miss America contestant. Can you give us your best parade wave? Beautiful, we love it, thank you so much. It's important to give back because Garden Grove has been wonderful to me and my family. Just look around, look at the smiles on all the faces. It's, it's really a very, very happy time for everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, for more updates, go like and follow our Facebook page. Reporting for GGTV3, I'm Brianna Greenup. Thank you.